Welcome everyone, you may be having issues on your iPod Touch where all of a sudden uh, you may be on 20%, 30%, maybe even 50% and your iPod will randomly shut down. And then later on, without even charging it, you can hold down the uh, power button and it will turn back on. Not all the times, but sometimes that will work. Uh, this, uh, this video will cover why that happens and some steps you can take in order to mitigate and solve the issue. So the reason why this happens is because your iPod Touch battery is faulty. Over time, when the battery degrades on the iPod Touch, the operating system isn't able to detect how much charge it actually has. So sometimes it will think that your iPod Touch's battery is dead, even though it isn't. And that's why you get that random shutdown, uh, because the operating system is like, huh, the battery's dead, let's shut the device down. That's the reason why you get that. You may also notice that the battery percent may jump all over the place. Like it might be uh, stay on 100 for a little bit, then go all the way down to like 1% and stay at 1% for a very long time. That is the reason why, because it can't detect the battery percentage correctly. So what can you do to mitigate this issue? Well, not much. However, you can just go to settings and you can just find here battery. And you can see here, low power mode. It's best to just turn this on. This will uh, consume less power overall on your iPod Touch. And that will just delay the random shutdowns longer, which means you can use your iPod Touch longer. Every time you charge your device, after it goes to like 80%, it will turn off low power mode. Just turn it back on and you'll have no issues there. Really what you need to do, the proper fix, is to get a battery replacement. But the problem is, is these iPod Touches, right, let's just keep it real here. These iPod Touches are pretty cheap and the battery replacement is very expensive. Doing a battery replacement yourself is really hard on the iPod. The reason why is because there is no uh, screws here, which put uh, to, which holds down the screen, which means they put a ton of adhesive and like it's really hard to get rid of the screen on the iPod. So I actually tried the screen replacement and I like broke the screen. So don't try this at home. And I'm, a, I'm meant to be a tech guy. So if the tech guy can't pull it off, most likely you can't either. Therefore the best bet really is just, you know, keep on using your iPod touch while it's on the charger and there you go really that's all you can do um best bet is to just get you know a newer iphone or a newer ipod touch if you really want but really newer iphone is your best bet this is the same specs as the iphone 7 however you can get the iphone 7 cheaper for the ipod touch 7th generation on ebay right now you get the iphone 7 for like under 100 pounds uh, ipod touch for the 120 130 so I just recommend you get an older iPhone if you really uh, you know, need to use a device. And that's really all you can do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.